Hi guys, I'm Shruti and welcome to Karmakar's Kitchen. Today I'm making pati chapta pita. It's a light crepes filled with either kheer or a coconut jaggery mixture. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the kheer version. So let's begin. So for the first step, we need to prepare a batter for the crepe for which in a bowl add 1 cup of rice flour. This is store bought rice flour, then add half a cup of all purpose flour or maida, 1 fourth cup of suji, also known as semolina, 2 tablespoons of sugar, also add 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, and another 1 fourth teaspoon of cardamom powder or ground cardamom, this is optional. Now combine everything very nicely. Now get some milk and add gradually to make a batter, not too thick. It has to be runny. I ended up using about little more than 300 ml to make this batter. Check for the consistency, it looks perfect, runny batter. It's gonna get thicker once we leave it to rest. Now cover and leave it to rest for 2 hours. The next step is to prepare the kheer filling. For that here I have got 500 ml of milk whole milk which is full cream milk we need to boil the milk first so for that increase the heat and bring it to a complete boil once the milk comes to a full boil lower the flame and add one cup of milk powder add gradually while stirring continuously adding milk powder will speed up the process of making kheer this will allow the milk to get thickened quicker at this stage add ground cardamom about half teaspoon and mix it really well. If you don't want to add milk powder then alternatively you can reduce about 1 liter of milk by constantly boiling and stirring. But the process is time consuming, it takes more than an hour to reduce the milk. Milk has reduced a lot, it should take about 20 to 30 minutes of constant boiling and stirring. Now here I am adding ghee about half teaspoon, this is optional. Pati chapta is a type of pita. Pita is not a single dish, it is a category of sweets and pati chapta is one of them. It is made specially during Push Shankranti in Bengal. Our kheer is ready, now add jaggery which is khejur gur about 150 grams. Gur will enhance the taste as well as the flavor of the kheer. Jaggery will release some water. But don't worry, just stir it for a little while and you will get a perfect consistency. It has thickened a bit more. Stop right here, it's the perfect consistency. Now turn off the flame and let it cool down completely. Now move on to the next step which is preparing the pati chapta. So after 2 hours, check the batter, it has thickened quite a lot. If you feel your batter is too thick then add some water and if it is too runny then add another half a cup of flour into it. Now heat a non-stick pan and grease lightly with a teaspoon of oil or ghee. Coat it nicely all over the pan. Let the oil heat up a little bit, but be careful, do not overheat. Pour a ladle full of batter in the center of the pan. Immediately swirl it around gradually to form a thin crepe. Wait for about 30 seconds. Let the underside be cooked. Put about 2 tablespoons of kheer filling lengthwise, place it at one end of the crepe. Start folding the crepe into a roll with the help of a spoon or a spatula. Keep in mind that we are only cooking one side of the crepe. Keep rolling over if you want to get a faint golden color on it. First pati chapta is done and ready, transfer it on a plate and proceed to finish off making rest of the pati chaptas. There are other Indian and traditional Bengali desserts video in my channel. I'll post the link in the description box below for you to check. Enjoy this traditional Bengali sweet dish. Have it hot or refrigerate for up to 7 days. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe my channel for more videos every week. Do not forget to like, share and comment. See you next week. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.